leo tunaangalia jinsi gani ya kuweza kusoma na kufaulu vizuri masomo ya sayansi kama nilivyokuisha kuambia inangu ndio Dr. Mlelo na nitakuwa nanyi kwa siku ya leo jambo la kwanza ni kuelewa vitu na kuvikalili kuna baadhi ya watu ambao huwa wanasema kwamba ukiwa na kalili vitu manake huelewi na wengine wanasema kwamba ni wanafunzi wa olevo au form 1 ndio wanao kalili lakini ukweli ni kwamba uwezi ukasoma bila kukalili lazima ukalili ile vile vitu uvikumbuke kwenye mtihani lakini jambo la pili ni kuvirudia vile vitu mara nyingi wezavyo kama unajua kwamba wewe aina yako ya usomaji labda ni ya kusummarize au ni ya kusoma vitabu unaweza ukasoma concept na ukishazisoma zile concept unakuwa unazirudia unazirudia tena yani kwa mfano umesoma labda leo jioni umeenda kulala unavoamka una revise zile concept kutoka kichwani pale uliposahau unakuja baadaye unasoma tena pale unaparudia unajua kombe kwenye hii mekanizmi yote ni kwa nimekumbuka ila ni sawa ili neno tu hapa kwa kumbe ile neno ukiliweka tu pale inakuwa easy for you to remember ukifanya vile mara mbili mara tatu mara nne unajikuta kwamba umesha weza ile mekanizmi unaenda unadili na vitu vingine lakini pia lazima ujue jinsi gani wanauliza maswali kwenye mtihani lazima ujue jinsi gani wanauliza maswali kusoma bila kujua jinsi gani wanauliza maswali utakuwa na knowledge kubwa na watu watakwambia kwamba wewe uko deep au unasoma sana lakini mwisho wa siku itaonekana maana ya kusoma kwako haipo au hakuna maana jambo jingine lazima unajua jinsi gani unaweza kujibu maswali na kupata marks nyingi wanafunzi kadhaa nimekuwa nikikutana nao wananiambia Bwana si huwa tunajibu maswali lakini mwalimu wetu anatuambia unajibu kama mtoto wa darasa kwanza. Hiyo ni kwa sababu they have content in their head but they don't know how to present their content. Kwamba wana kitu kichwani lakini hawajui jinsi gani wakiandike kile kitu. Sasa siwezi nikaeleza kila kitu kwenye hii video lakini kama utakuwa mwangaliaji na mfuatiliaji wa video zangu nitakazokuwa naendelea kutoa kwenye hii channel utapata zaidi jinsi gani ya kujibu maswali kwa sababu nitakuwa naeleza fundisha topic mwisho wa kila topic mwisho wa subtopics na hata ndani mle mle nitakuwa natoa maswali na kueleza jinsi gani ya kujibu ili uweze kupata marks nyingi au uweze kufaulu kwa sababu wanafunzi wengi hasa kwa masomo ya science kama biology ambayo ni la kueleza chemist of course sio sana kwa sababu ya calculation is more of calculation and laws and even physics is more of calculation and laws but biology for instance is the subject of explaining explaining mechanisms explaining different concepts so it becomes difficult for them to understand how to explain where to start where to end what thing they must not jump what thing is not necessary because if the teacher's marks the your exam just looks for the just few tips mwalimu anapokuwa anasaisha mtihani wako haangalii kila kitu nishawahi kufundisha mahali fulani nishawahi kufundisha muda fulani huwa siangalii kila kitu na sio mimi tu hiyo ndo walimu wote kwa sababu kwa mfano mekanizimu umeandika page nzima mwalimu anaweza kaangalia page nzima ataangalia pale umeanza kwa mlolongo na utakio katikati umeenda kwa mlolongo na utakio mwishoni mmalizie kwa mlolongo na utakio kwa tafsiri yake ni kwamba kama alitegemea uanze na kitu fulani wewe umeanza na kingine ufuate na kitu fulani ufuate na kingine na katika kingine kile umekielezea kwa namna ambayo ni nyingine tafsiri yake pale walimu huwa anaweka tu mikasi na mwisho wa siku unaweza kuanza kumlaumu mwalimu au mwalimu usaishaji wake ni ovyo asomi majibu asomi maelezo lakini ni kwamba kwa mfano hata nekta sio kwamba wataweza kusoma maelezo yote watasoma tu machache lakini chengine lazima ujue staili ya ufundishaji wa mwalimu wako kuna baadhi ya walimu wao wanatumia labda vitabu kuna baadhi ya walimu wao labda wanatumia sources pamphlet kwa lazima unajua mwalimu wangu anatumia pamphlet kama anatumia pamphlet au anatumia kitabu fulani ili kwamba kishatumia kile kitabu wewe unavoenda kule kama mwalimu alitoa example mbili in the book you get more questions kwa hiyo ni nzuri na inasaidia for example mimi wakati nasoma advance kwa najua kwa mwalimu wangu alikuwa anifundisha tushani lakini alikuwa anatumia alikuwa anatumia roja pamoja na nelcon so nilikuwa nikisolve yale maswali yake nikaenda kwenye roja na nelcon najikuta kwamba yapo yale maswali yaliyonitolea lakini hapo na mengine zaidi ambayo yanakuwa yako ize na Jambo nyingine ni kwamba lazima ujue namna yako nzuri ya kusoma. Kwamba je, ukiwa unasoma huko unaandika chini au ukiwa unasoma tu vitabu au ukiwa unasoma kwa maswali ndio unaelewa. Yaani hapo ni swala la wewe na akili yako. Kuna baadhi ya watu kama mimi siwezi kusoma na 
vitu vikastiki bila kuviandika chini some of the people wanasema many kisoma na ukunasikiliza muziki lakini not all the environment will be able to listen music maybe you at advanced school or level school mazingira ambayo uko unasimamiwa au uko under the under the control fulani uweze ukasikiliza muziki pale kwa hiyo we lazima ujue na mazingira ya muziki si yashauri sana kwa sababu mziki unaweza kukupelekea ubongo wako ukahama kwa unasikiliza mziki na ukao unatafakari vile ukaacha kuconcentrate na vile ambavyo ulitakiwa uvishike au visikilize wakati ule kwa hiyo wewe unasoma tu mahali penye utulivu baadhi yao wanasema mimi naweza kusoma hata kwenye kelele lakini not for everybody just for some of them na inawezekana hata wao wanaweza kusoma kwenye kelele wakisoma penye ukimya watasoma kwa ubora zaidi kuliko wanavyosoma kwenye kelele kwa sababu inawezekana tu kwa sababu mazingira aliyopo pana kuaga na kelele lakini akisoma mahali penye ukimya ndo ataelewa zaidi lakini pia kusoma vitabu lazima of course siwezi nika explain kila kitu hapa kuhusu kusoma vitabu kwa sababu for me reading books in advanced level inisaidia sana inisaidia sana kuweza kufaulu vizuri na hata kuwa best student kuwa the second best student for the whole Tanzania lakini naweza kusema ni kwamba kusoma vitabu kama kwa biology naweza nikaeleza video nyingine nikai upload independent how to read books in in advanced level biology how to read books or utilizing books in performing well exams of course some of the students wamenembea kwamba naweza kusoma vitabu kukuta concept of this book na concept of this book as if they conflicting each other if, as if they they conflicting each other as if they are not clear and that's true to some extent but you must know what the most clearest because as we are increasing in the level of understanding it is where we are knowing that this is true this is not true ko hata vitabu navyo kuna concept ambayo vimeandika vimfika sehemu vimesema kwamba the precious mechanism is not known hata ukisoma kwa, kwa mfano biological science utasoma maeneo kadhaa utakuta wameandika the precious mechanism of this and this is not known the precious mechanism is not known tafsiri yake nini kwamba scientist walifanya walifanya utafiti mara kadhaa na mara kadhaa wakaona kile kitu kwamba ndio kimewezekana mwisho pale hawakuweza kujua zaidi hapa lakini the advancement of technology is taking place if you are going to google you can get those concepts however i'm talking this but i know that it's not easier for the all student to assess google but you can go to google for 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 any means you can go to your teacher just borrow the phone or just ask the teacher to google for you for any means so as to improve your understanding and hence improve your performance another thing you must have knowledge how to use different techniques to start maybe videos books teachers notes and etc what i can say is that wakati natumia vitabu kwa mfano mimi nilivyokuwa natumia vitabu mimi nilikuwa natumia vitabu at the same time natumia nasi za mwalimu syllabus inakuwa imetoa imetoa yaani imetoa mipaka fulani labda mwanafunzi asome the concept of excretion or the concept of genetics lakini ilivyosema the concept of genetics haijasema aishie wapi some of the teachers atafundisha concept of the genetics atafundisha the common terms used in genetics some of the teachers are to, to concept of genetics hapo hapo atahamisha ataenda kwenye literary material kwa sasa hapo ndipo ambapo mgogoro huo unakuja kwa hiyo using teachers notes and different notes maybe you are from a certain school unaweza kutumia notes za shule ambazo zina perform vizuri zinajulikana jamani zinajulikana yani kwa Tanzania yetu zinajulikana hata usi, usitafute kujua kwamba zinajulikana fedha mali yani kiba mzumbe ukipata notes za shule hizo inakuwa ni jambo zuri unajua kwamba ah okay kumbe ni mzumbe they perform well they end to study here yani kwamba wao huwa wanaishaga hapa sio kama walimu wengine wa vivu wa vivu mshweni mwetu akuta vitu vingi kaviruka ile inakusababisha wewe ufeli zaidi lakini kitu changine lazima tujue kwamba vitabu wewe vinaandikwa kwenye syllabus ya nje. Yaani kwa mfano biological science ya advance imeandikwa kwenye syllabus ya UK, yani Uingereza, na Chandi imeandikwa kwenye syllabus ya India. Na vitabu vingine vingine vimeandikwa kwenye syllabus ya nje. Hiyo ni kwa sababu system za bado ya tuna development nzuri kiwango cha teknolojia kuweza kuandika vitabu vyetu. Hata tukiandika tutakuwa tunalifaa kwa wale. Kwa hiyo sasa 
Wewe lazima unajua mipaka. Kwa sasa hapa Tanzania sijaona moja kwa moja mwalimu ambaye ameandika kitabu kicho fit syllabus vizuri. Of course siwezi nikasema moja kwa moja kwamba hawapo. Kina Mandia wamejaribu kwenye biology, wameandika baadhi ya vitu. Lakini hawajaandika vyote. Baadhi ya walimu pia kati na soma form 6 kuna mwalimu wa fizika boizi. Tuko na ito species. Species uliombiza na yeye aliandika kitabu. Ye yeah, amejaribu kwa ubora zaidi kuliko kina Mandia. I am not doing a business things labda ku emphasize watu ila ni vitu ambavyo unaweza kuvisoma na ukafaulu. Na pia kwenye chemist if you can hold well ngaiza gaiza ukishika vizuri na gaiza ukiweza kutembea nayo vizuri chemist you are able to get a kwa sababu gaiza ameandika vitu ambavyo ni competent yani vitu ambavyo vinatakiwa lakini ni physics pia tunao baadhi wamejaribu kina mgote kina Ali Abdalla lakini still there are some weakness so reading books it is a good thing reading pamphlet is a good thing but when you are reading pamphlet you must refer to a book when you are reading notes you must refer to a book of course sometimes even myself i, I tend to use mandia lakini ilipokuwa natumia mandia nilikuwa na refer kwenye book kwamba mandia hichi kitu amekitoa wapi so don't just use mandia don't don't just use ruumbiza don't just use ngaiza by only trusting your your fellow tanzanian of course sio kwamba na na wakati tamaa wa tanzania wanachokifanya ni kitu bora na ni kitu ambacho kita pandisha sana ufaulu wetu lakini sasa swala ni kwamba sio nyakati zote huwa wanafanya vile vitu kwa ubora kwa kama sio nyakati zote huwa wanafanya kwa ubora wakati mwingine ambapo wafanyi kwa ubora ni yale tu tuseme kwamba wanachokifanya hawakifanyi kwa ubora itajika wanafanya kwa ubora ila sio kwa ubora itajika siwaambii kwamba msinunue nunueni muwe navyo mandia muwe navyo rombiza muwe nazo ngaiza muwe nazo muwe nazo ali abdala muwe nazo mgote muwe nazo labda kihombo lakini angalieni syllabus angalieni vitabu vimeandikaje kuhusu hivyo vitu na pia hapa kuna jambo la syllabus nadhani wewe umeshaligusia pale kwenye syllabus ukienda kuna sehemu hapa imeandikwa topic kuna learning objectives learning objectives so you understanding the concept of which understanding each vile vitu ndio lazima uvifahamu lazima uvifahamu lakini chingine usiwe mvivu usiwe mvivu tu jitahidi kuwajibika jitahidi kuwajibika fanya vitu tu kwa ubora ni vitu kwa ubora jitahidi kuwajibika soma kama utaweza kutoboa toboa kama utaweza skyda hasani kumemphasize mtu kwamba mwanangu ametoboa na mimi natoboa na kusoma tusome kwa kushindana ni unaweza kuona kushindana sawa lakini sio hivyo sio hivyo ambao nyinyi mnakaa darasani tu kaa unakaa darasani unalala mezani kichoka kalale pumzisha mwili pumzisha akili amka asubuhi fanya vitu kwa ubora summarize vitu ujaelewa muulize mwanzako alielewa au ukiona na yeye hajaelewa vizuri muulize mwalimu. Kiona mwalimu uko naye mbali au una kuna shida yoyote inasumbua, tafuta namna nyingine. Lakini pia kwa masomo kama biology, chemistry na physics ambao unajua kwa pesa kuna paper 1 na paper 2. Paper 2 kila swali ni marks 20. Jitahidi sana uweze topic za paper 2. Uweze topic za paper 2 yani swali la marks 20. Wewe upate angalau 15. Of course mimi ile nisaidia sana. Kuna masomo kama chemistry ni kwa sisomi sana lakini nilikuwa na faulu kwa sababu gani nilijua acid base and salt naiweza pale tayari na maxi 20 solvent na maxi 20 kinetics na maxi 20 organic na maxi 20 ni organic 20 topic nyingine kama topic nyingine kama topic nyingine za chemistry paper 2 nilikosa kwamba sizisome na zisoma lakini nazisoma for leisure tu kwa jii tu ya ya yani kwa jitu ya kuongezea max kwamba nikishindwa swala topic hii nitafanya la topic hii lakini pia usichague topic usichague topic tu kwamba ni bwana paper tu nasoma tu hii na hii na hii sometimes they must they may not appear na umechagua soil ujasoma organic haija pia organic una fail na soil yako kwa hiyo unazikuta kwamba usha fail kizembe lakini paper tu pia ya biology genetics ecology of course yani ukikoma vizuri kwenye hizo topic naweza kuwa vizuri sana kuliko vile ambavyo una, unafikiria wengine tuko kama mimi niko na uhakika wa maxi 15 kwa swala genetics kwa swala la excretion kwa swala kwa swala la genetics excretion kwa swala la classification ilo nao niko na uhakika wa maxi nyingi japo kwa sababu it is very long topic ilikuwa inachukulia challenges lakini i was sure to to get more of the marks kwa hiyo naweza tu nika nikasema hivyo uangalie tu namna nzuri ya kuweza kuviweka vitu vyako hapo 
hiyo pia haina maana kwamba usisome topic za paper 1 topic za paper 1 pia usisome na sasa zile za max 15 kwa mfano kwenye paper 1 ya biology ni topic kama gases exchange and respiration topic kama transportation and reproduction make sure you study them for the 15 max make sure angalau unapata 10 plus 10 plus of course the transportation gases exchange and excretion reproduction almost all of them they are long topics especially production transport ni long topic lakini try try yani jitahidi tu usome jitahidi usome of course kama mtapata neema ku, ku, ku ni, kuangalia video zangu siku kadhaa zijazo au mwakani hivi naweza nikawa nimesha upload video mwakani na kana fata naweza nikawa nimesha upload video za kufundisha hizi topic kwa hiyo hiyo inaweza ka emphasize your understanding kama tu utaona unaelewa vile ambavyo ninafundisha ila kama utaona utaelewa mbia ambavyo ninafundisha tafuta mwalimu mwingine sijua kama kwa youtube atakuepo mwingine anaye upload video au la lakini tafuta mwalimu mwingine here i'm not emphasizing just to view my videos i'm emphasizing performance because nishaambia kwamba ni gundua moja kati kitu ambacho kinafanya wanafunzi wa feli ni wamekosa walimu na wengine walimu wapo ila hawako competent au wengine walimu wako lakini wanafundisha ovyo ovyo kwa sababu shule ni za serikali na kadhalika. Lakini pia kwa masomo ya ambayo yenye practical angalia sana kuweka attention kubwa kwenye practicals. Practicals zina uwezo kuongeza performance yako kwa ubora sana na kwa urahisi sana. Kwa hiyo weka attention yako kubwa kwenye practicals na mwisho siku you can perform very very good kama tu utakuwa unafanya vizuri kwenye practicals. Another thing naweza tu nikasema kwa kumalizia kwa wanafunzi ambao ni wa level kwamba level wanafunzi wengi wanasema kwamba masomo tisa ni mengi lakini ukija advance kwa mfano PCB anakuwa na exams moja kwa hiyo si kama yale tisa tu ya level you have maybe nine exam or maybe plus three practical exams they sum up to 12 sio kama hivyo huko advance masomo yenye uzito ukisikia physics 1 ni physics 1 kwa hiyo olevo unaweza kusoma tu masomo yote jitahidi usome masomo yote ila kwa masomo ambayo ni ya combination yako labda PCB physics chemistry bio jitahidi sana 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 masomo ya combination yako jitahidi sana 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 hayo masomo uweze kuya concentrate and uconcentrate sana na hayo masomo ya combination yako kuliko mengine. Kwa, kwa masomo mengine unaweza kupata C B ila kwa masomo ya combination jitahidi upate A B A B that's the good performance. Mimi naamini yote inawezekana. Hata kwa shule ya sikari, ngine utisoma shule za ndani ndani huko shule inaitwa wino huko songea madaba huko kijijini nakutana na walimu wanachapa fimbo tu. Hakuna chochote ambacho kinaendelea. Mwalimu wa kufundisha topic hata moja lakini studying tuition is to say dear mimi naamini kwa advancement of technology sasa hii Tanzania tuition ni soko na zi, na na, na uwa soko la tuition ah tuition ni nzuri lakini sometimes unaweza kwenda tuition utakuwa na mwalimu ambaye ni mwizi mwizi tu kwa hiyo kama utaweza ku, kuwatumia watu kama mimi kuangalia video zangu za YouTube ku comment kwamba upload video hii upload hii fundisha hichi hichi sikuelewa na nika sababu nijaambia kama kitu akijaeleka nitakuwa na upload video nyingine kwa ajili ya kuweka clear kile kitu. Kwa hiyo kama tu utakuwa unaweza kututumia watu vizuri kama mimi, unaweza ka raise your performance. Sasa so, mimi nitakuwa nakuelekeza namna kujibu maswali na kadhalika kwa namna ambavyo mimi nilifaulu licha ya kuwa na mazingira magumu. Lakini kuna mazingira ambayo walimu wetu wa Tanzania conflict zinakuwaga nyingi kwa hiyo remember tu kwamba mwalimu wako sio nectar. Mwalimu wako anakufundisha nekta itapima uelewa wa mwalimu wako. Kwa hiyo nekta ndo ambaye ataangalia ori elewa alichofundisha mwalimu. Mimi ni soma mazingira ya olevo ambayo ni kuwa all of the teachers walikuwa na ugomvi na mimi. Yaani hawatamani ile mimi nifaulu, hawatamani mimi perform vizuri. Kasoro mwalimu mmoja tu. Naye ni kwa sababu nilikuwa ni mwalimu wangu wa chemistry na nilikuwa na perform vizuri subject yake. Haina maana yao mengine nilikuwa si perform vizuri. I performed well lakini wengine sasa walikuwa ndo wanaweka visa mnafelishana mna tu unafanya mtihani wakuta extra extra si fanye kitu cha kuemphasize ugomvi na walimu a uh-uh. nafanya kitu cha kwamba kama ikitokea 
ikitokea mwalimu anakuchukia bila sababu yani wewe una haki wewe hauna shida yote wewe sio mtoro vipindi unahudhuria mazoezi unafanya ikitokea mwalimu anakuchukia basi wewe soma tu hata Mungu atakuwa upande wako na hata kusimamia utafaulu lakini sio ule ugomvi wa wewe labda siwi ndio na vibinti wewe siwi ndio na utoro mwenyewe na uvutabangi na kuruka ukuta huo ugomvi si si uungi mkono hata kidogo na niseme tu kwa wanafunzi kama wewe kuferi kuko jirani sana hata kusema na kutabiria mabaya hata kusema si angalie tena video za huyu lecture ila tu nikwambie kwa stahili ya maisha punguza usera ongeza muda wa kufanya vitu vya muhimu punguza usera ongeza muda wa kusoma punguza usera yani hapa sikwambii swala la kwamba labda usali dini yangu au umwabudu Mungu na umwabudu mimi a a ila nakwambia tu punguza usera fanya vitu vya maana vinavyoeleka so mwisho wa siku hata watu ambao tunaona wanafanya vitu vya maana for example for this session our president maguvuli anafanya vitu kwa maana kwa sababu gani yeye hana muda wa mzaa na mtu seriously anafanya vitu seriously na ni moja kati ya vitu ambavyo hata mwenyewe inifanya nitoboe sana advance seriously nilipofika darasani seriously some of the people they call me gadafi seriously wengine hata jina langu alikuwa anijui na hataki hata kulijua jina langu kwa sababu gani walikuwa shauna ni mtu ambaye niko serious muda wote serious sina muda wa kuongea na mtu sina muda wa kujaliana na mtu sina muda wa kufanya chochote ambacho sio cha maana kwa hiyo pia kumbuka tu ibada kumbuka ibada kumbuka tu kumwabudu Mungu wewe Muislamu mwabudu tu Mungu wako mimi namwamini sana Mungu anaweza kukusaidia kumbuka sana kumbuka sana usiwe tu mtu fulani msela msela we haijulikani Jumapili au Ijumaa uko ibadani yani wewe haijulikani una swali au una swali hiyo sio nzuri na washukuni nyote my name is Dr. Mlelo lecture and as I introduced to you in the last video I am a undergraduate student at the Mwimbi University of Health and Life Sciences second year I will be coming to you more and more times uploading videos looking on how can I emphasize your performance as well as making you pass more well your exams thank you everybody see you next time